clap for the Lord. Clap that he's done something great in your life. Clap that he's already brought you through some things. Give him a hand clap that he's going to bring you out of whatever you're dealing with right now. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good. And he's so wonderful. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to welcome you all here who decided to come out and attend. We welcome those that are watching on Facebook land. We bring you greetings from the big city of Columbia, South Carolina. We're celebrating and worshiping in the house of prayer called Living Word of Deliverance Temple Worship Center. We're located at 1722 F. Broad River Road, Columbia, South Carolina, 29210. If you're residing in Columbia, it's not too late for you to come by the house. Amen? But we don't mind praising. But we don't mind letting the devil know we got victory over him. We're under the anointing and the powerful prophetic teacher, Bishop David E. Tompkins Sr. So we ask you this morning, just take the brakes off. Don't even worry about what happened last night. Don't even worry about what happened moments ago. What matters now is that you're calling and you're in the presence of God. Because we've gone for a glorious experience this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to call down glory like we know how to call it down. Hallelujah. But how many of you know that whatever's going on out there don't have no power over the God you serve? So we're going for a glory experience. You come here to play church, you may be in the wrong place. You tune in and you want to justify and criticize. You tune into the wrong channel. But if you want a word from God, we're in the right place. Oh, but we love and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I didn't come to pump you up. But when you think about the goodness of Jesus, you ought to get excited. So we go with the invocation and when we're done with that, whatever the Holy Ghost say, we going to try to go over to praise and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I come to have church. And I don't care if you don't want to praise the brother. I can pray out the and I can praise him all by myself. But I've been to enough hell to know I can tear down a building. Hallelujah. I don't need no shoes. I don't need no nice clothes. I don't need no makeup on. something great. Hallelujah. Those of you that have your words, let's turn to the 23rd song. Not only are we going to read the 23rd song, I want you to do something unusual. You always stand for the word if you can. I want you to imagine that you're standing in the mirror. And I want you to convince that spirit in you that you believe God is who he say he is. You want to speak with authority. Hallelujah. We didn't come to read it like the Lord is my shit. You ain't going to move nothing that way. That's right. Hallelujah. But come and those that are watching, you may want to stand in the mirror or pull out a mirror and pretend you're looking this way up. But I just know that by quoting this scripture, and we learned just the other night, the last Sunday, about what this really means. So you should be feeling this very good. Because you had seven days to recite it. Amen. When you're ready, say amen. Amen. I want you to say it with an attitude. Just like somebody got on your nerve and you're really mad. I want you to be mad with the devil when you read this. Let's go. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For the rod, you are with me, and the rod that comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Mm. Forever. Hallelujah. You may be seated. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look over to your neighbors. Find somebody you can look at from a distance. I didn't come here for no mess. I didn't come here to look pretty. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. To try to pump you up. What I came for is to get the best of what God has for me. If that means that I ain't got time to speak to you to tell you nothing right now, see me out the church. Because while I'm in the presence of the Lord, I'm going to be selfish this morning. I need him like I never needed him before. Hallelujah. Don't you know he know your name? He know your sign. He know where you're sitting. He know what you did last night. He know what you're doing now. He know what's on your mind. You ain't got time to go for all that. Hallelujah. Have you done anything for anybody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you're ready for a prayer. I know we heard it this morning, but somebody came in, didn't hear it. I believe that if you set the atmosphere right, the unspeakable can happen. Hallelujah.
God, that only you can do. Give us the mindset, God. Give us the praise, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, that will set this house in order, oh God. Raise us collectively, oh God. Take us to the next level, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being so good to us. Thank you for allowing us to come to a place of worship. Thank you, God, that you didn't let us die last night. Thank you, God, that you gave us victory, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you when we look back over where we came from, oh God. And where we are right now, God, we got to say thank you. Somebody said that you do things according to our faith, oh God. This morning, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will send angels around us now. Fill the seat now, God, in the name of Jesus, that our voice will be like thunder, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Somebody don't know who you are this morning. But God, we ask now that you show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we ask right now the word that's coming. God, that you would anoint it afresh. God, allow it not to fall on deaf ears. That we will hear every word that is being said. God, you allow every gift in this house to be birthed, oh God. God, you allow the ministry to come forth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, you will move us out of our comfort zone. Because we come expecting great things this morning. But we know we must give up something. And God, we're going to give you just an old praise. Praise you, God. Even when you don't move, God, we're going to praise you. And God, we're going to walk out on faith. Some, somebody sitting close to somebody. God, allow them to minister to one another, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we promise, God, to give you all the glory. Give you all the praise. God, we heard about Hannah this morning. God, we understand now, God, that you reward us with our commitments, oh God. So we look to the hill which comes from our hill. We seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. And God, we know that all things will be added unto us, oh God. And God, we pray for every family that's connected. We pray for everyone who's sick in the sound of my voice. God, that you will send a whirlwind beside them, God, and you will heal them, oh God, and give them a testimony, God. Thank you for healing us of cancer. Thank you for healing us of diabetes. Thank you, God, that you're healing us of all manner of diseases. We're stepping out on faith this morning. We're not claiming a thing this morning that is coming against your word. We come against witchcraft. We come against war. We come against anything that's coming against your word. Free the atmosphere. Loose now in the name of Jesus. Loose like you never loose before. Say it, get out of this house. You're not welcome. Loose God's people in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we glorify you. In Jesus' name. Let the house say amen. 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 Uh huh, uh huh. Amen. 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 Come on, come on. We're going to shake this off, man. Come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I just want you to think about one thing.
Oh, 
building that enjoys coming to praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise is holy man. Yes. You know, God's been good to me. Me too. You tell us what's been good to you also. Yes. So the mother celebrated 79th birthday on yesterday. Yes. Hallelujah. Sister Sharon is celebrating hers today. Hallelujah. I let you know how good God is. Because they, they, they both could have been in the big obituary. Yes. That I almost made it. But you ought to praise God that you made it and you made it. And let God know that it's all right. Yes. I thank you for being good to me. I couldn't go back and wouldn't go back in my head. Amen, Bishop. I can hear nobody. Amen, Bishop. I know you said, I, I wish I'd know what I know now. You know that. What you gonna do that? That's right. What you gonna do with it? Ah, uh, come on now. Come on, come on. Come on, Bishop. Come on. Amen, Bishop. There is a word in here. Hey, y'all need to start coming to Sunday school. Amen. Sunday school is a good message. Good this morning. Amen. Amen. Come to Sunday school. Amen. That's the only way you're going to understand the truly word and go back and Amen. study it. Amen. 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 God gives us great teachers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So come to Sunday school. Yeah. Yeah. See what God has in store for you. Hallelujah. Amen. In this place. I'm not going to bother your patience too long. Have a couple of shows to get to. But there is a word. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. In this house. Amen. Open your Bibles to 2 Timothy, the first chapter. Just a close walk with me. Well, Jesus, if you please, daily walk is close to me. Oh, 
heaven. God asking you to please have mercy upon us even right now. And God, I ask you now if you would stand up in me, God, and use me for the next few minutes, God, until you can get the glory, God. Decrease the servant, God. And you use him, God, until you use him up. Father God, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do, God, and even how you're getting ready to do it. God, we know your word is all that we have, even on our mind, your word. And God, I ask you now to have mercy upon us, God. That everything will be all right and everything will be well. Father God, bless these your people here right now. Heal and set free, God. Let them know deliverance, God, is in the house. Yes. Let them know that deliverance is for the sinner, God. Yes. And everything will be all right. Yes, God. And God, we thank you now yes, for all that you're getting ready to do now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us now begin go to 2 Timothy, over the New Testament, that first chapter, mm -hmm. Paul's writing. I'm going to read just a few of these verses, starting with the seventh verse, maybe down to about 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, somewhere in that area. Amen. Amen. Is everybody there? Amen. If you're not there, I said wait. Amen. The word of God, people of God, is just so powerful. Yes, it is. Yes, for your operation. Yes, God. If you be a partaker. Amen. The word of God is all that you have Amen. to keep you. Amen. Now, the question is, do you want to be kept? That part. That part. It doesn't matter how it comes, you don't want to be kept. That part. But you want to be kept. Hallelujah. God will tell Satan to mind his own business and leave this child alone. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Jesus. God is just so profound in everything he do and say. Amen. Starting at that seventh verse. Lost every time Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. 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 Thou therefore ashamed of the testimony, be not ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Yes, God. Call me his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of God. Yes, God. Who has saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and Hallelujah. grace, yes, yes. which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world begun. Yes, God. Uh, but it's now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality uh, to light through the gospel. Yes, Jesus. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle, a teacher of the Gentiles. For that which causes I also suffer these things, nevertheless, I am not ashamed. Yes, God. For I know who I have believed yes. and I'm persuaded that, yes. that he is able to keep that which yes. I have committed yes. unto him against that day. Hallelujah. Now, Sunday with the Abel Holy Ghost, the seventh verse again says, For God has given us, have not given us a spirit of fear. Amen. But of power yes. and of love yes, God. and of a sound mind. Yes, Jesus. I, I want to talk about the subject entitled, Mother, Be Not Ashamed. Amen. First of all, before you take your seat, 
if you are ashamed of where you came from, Hallelujah. you can't make it. That's right. Y'all look like y'all fall. Amen. 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 I said, if you're ashamed of what you've been through with, yes. you won't make it. That seventh verse is, is so powerful, brothers, that for God has not given us the spirit of fear. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You should not, go ahead and take your seats, be afraid of what God has allowed you to come out of. Thank you, Glory. Glory. You can never fix it your way. That's it. Right. Say so. That's right. Uh, don't be ashamed of what God allows you to experience. Because yeah. first of all, it all belongs to the Lord. Amen. Don't be ashamed when God have you in life. Yes. Yes. Oh, Paul, the apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Uh, now here, brothers and sisters, Paul is writing to a, a young pastor who is a little discouraged by the things going around him and the life of his friends. Life will discourage you sometimes. Things you go through with in life, at the top it will discourage you. Uh, but you you got to learn more about it, Sister Sharon. You can't hold on to it. You got to learn to walk away from it and let it go. God allows you to be discouraged sometimes to see what you're working with. Oh, I come up full of love like that. God, God allows you to come every now and then. You will get over your head. But it wasn't God that put you there. Uh, 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 come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You, can't, you can't look at your circumstances, your situation. And determine how much God loves you when you know it's right. Lord. That's right. That's right. The Bible says here, as we go through this text, Timothy is growing ashamed of the gospel because of the affliction, mm -hmm. persecution, and trials that accompany it. Paul wanted my brother Timothy to know that there are. Some things in life of which we must never be ashamed. That's right. Hallelujah. I've learned in life, brothers, I don't care what I've been through with and what right. I go through with. I may not repeat a lot of it, but I'm not ashamed of any of it. I'm not about it all because anything in life you survive and make it out of, that's God. That's it. Hallelujah. That's God. That's yeah, I'm a whole lot of people, males and females, that's gone beyond wherever they had to go. But we're still here. Amen. Uh, I don't know uh, about you this morning, almost this afternoon, but Amen. don't be ashamed of what God has for you. Hallelujah. You got to understand you're still who you are in the Lord. Yes. You see where you are in the Lord. You see how you are in the Lord. Now, I fell in love with this verse 7. Amen. For God uh, has not given us the spirit of fear, mother. But he gave you power. Yes, Lord. Uh, for anything that's alert around you, that you will be all right. Thank you, Jesus. Not only did he give you power, but he gave you love. And a sound mind, which means nothing should sneak up on you. Amen. Yeah, yeah, you, you just got to know the difference. See, when you're you stuck in toughness without God, you just don't know the difference. Amen? Amen. Uh, until the difference clips you. Uh, but Paul here tells his brother Timothy, son, you, I want you to not be ashamed of what you've been through with. Don't be ashamed of what God has delivered. 
comes you out of. Don't be ashamed of what God has broken you through. But I want you to learn that it's your season to hold on and wait on the Lord. As believers, there is a, a tendency among us from time to time to be ashamed of who we are and, and what we have as Christians. Uh, uh, there are times when we will hope that there no one find out that uh, we as a believer. Uh, see, that's what happens when we learn to live a different life here and out there. Uh, and we're all guilty and guilty and been guilty. Huh? I can't help nobody, but if you have been guilty, your time is soon to come. Uh -huh. uh, maybe we are ashamed to admit that we love the Lord uh -huh. and are trusting Him to save our soul. Uh -huh. Maybe we are ashamed to speak up uh -huh, in a discussion uh -huh, about doctoral matters, uh -huh, a doctrine matters. Uh -huh.
that if you can bring them to it, you'll bring them through. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the one that celebrated a birthday. We thank you, God, for Sister Sharon May. Yes, God. God, do something miraculous for her. Yes, move like you never moved before. Yes, God. God, I live for the day when she don't have to come in here with a sister. Yes, God, that she will be able to run in here. Yes, God. God, I give you praises. God, until you do it, we're going to praise you. God, that you will touch him. You will touch her husband. You will touch her entire family. We thank you for Mother Hoople who celebrate her birthday. That you continue to move, do as you always do. But make these her days even better than the last. Open up the windows of heaven for her. God, that now her to speak life into her family, so God. And God, we thank you for Mother Joan who also celebrate her birthday. God, that you will continue to move. Continue to make the devil out of her life. God, continue to increase her intercessory spirit, God. Continue to give her a greater deliverance, God, that she will be able to speak to those that she come in contact with. Because, God, she come in contact with those that will never come in these walls. That she don't have to touch them, but just the fact that they're in her presence. And she carries the presence of you. That shall be delivered. For everyone in this room, collectively together. God, that you will give us the power, God, that we'll be able to lay hands on those, oh God, and speak life into their lives, oh God. Tell them about what you've done for us. And God, let them know in the name of Jesus, the same way you did it for me, he can do it for you. Those that are watching Facebook, no matter what it looks like, no matter what social media is saying, what the TV is saying, what the news people are saying, there is only one God. He made Corona bow down. You will accept him. Yes, God. You will confess that he is Lord and he died and he rose again. It's just that simple. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. You can be set free in the living room, in the bedroom, in the kitchen, wherever you may be watching. There's nothing like praising the Lord in a confined room in your house. Yes, oh, and Lord, we thank you for what is already done. We ask in Jesus' name that you cover this prayer.
pray you have a blessed day. Hallelujah. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Thank you.